Hi, I'm Tom Stevens. I'm CEO and co-founder of TomBot. We're developing robotic companion animals for seniors with dementia. From our studies, we learned that seniors strongly prefer realistic appearance and realistic behaviors. Uh, being a robotics technology company, we didn't know how to do that. So we turned to the animatronics community here in Hollywood to help us with the design. Well, my name is Peter Brook. I'm the creative supervisor here at uh, Jim Henson's Creature Shop. My name is John Criswell. I'm the animatronic supervisor at the Jim Henson Creature Shop. Tombot was a was a, a totally unique um, project. The Tombot project was was really close to my heart. My my father um, suffered from um, Alzheimer's, and so when this particular project came in and I found out about it, I was, you know. Uh, thrilled to, to be a part of it from the beginning. Their first efforts were generally excellent. Uh, the refinements that we ended up doing were very, very modest. The big work for us really came after Jim Henson's Creature Shop finished their project and tried to, our efforts to replicate the magic which they could create in an animatronic prop uh, into a fully independent robot. Obviously we've done um, realistic animals before for movies. Um, uh, but oftentimes they're just for one or two shots. But here we were in a situation where we had to create a basically realistic dog that could be totally self-contained um, and operate in a completely different environment than a say, film set or a TV uh, stage. Really from our first meeting with Jim Henson's Creature Shop, we knew this was going to be uh, a great relationship. That included bringing out anatomically uh, correct dogs and looking at how dogs move to express themselves. We looked at that and realized that it was really the detail in those expressions that were going to make the, the difference in our product. I'm a big believer in that if you, if you get the foundational aspects of, of the job um, correct and right, uh, uh, then everything you layer on top of that is only going to support um, uh, to support that foundation and, and, and to make it work. And so with Tombot, we, we really went back to the, the skeleton of the animal, of the, of the dog, and the, the muscles, and we paid a great deal of attention on trying to make the mechanics, the internal mechanics, mimic the kind of movement that you would see in a real animal. And Jim Henson's Creature Shop are the masters at helping us suspend disbelief and, and buying into the world which they create. Uh, so coming and visiting the shop, uh, each of our working meetings has always been uh, a, a, you know, a childhood joy to, to experience. But more than that, the people that we worked with uh, really were, were the difference makers. Because of their personal connection, there was a special motivation that we felt that Jim Henson's Creature Shop put into our project. And I think the results really speak for themselves. Our robot, Jenny, well, I think works, uh, looks and functions much better than we had anticipated at this stage in our development. This one just meant a, a whole lot more somehow because of the implications of you know, where it could possibly go and what it could possibly do for people um, that uh, are suffering from this really horrible um, you know, disease. We're grateful for the work that, that we've been able to do with Jim Henson's Creature Shop and we look forward to utilizing their services again in future projects. 